Welcome to our last chakra video, which is about the Sahasrara chakra, which is the crown chakra, which is located top of the head. This chakra is all about you, so it's all about your consciousness. So if you are lacking in this uh, chakra, which to be fair, pretty much everybody is, um, you could feel materialistic, disconnected um, or cynical. This chakra is what most people know as the last one to open. So you work through all your chakras and this is the last one. Once you've opened this, energy is flowing out and it's your, you've reached enlightenment. So it's good to work on all the chakras. So today we're going to be focusing on this one. So we're just going to come to a seated position on our mat, hands on knees, close down the eyes and just focus on, on our natural breath, not trying to change it in any way, just trying to focus in on you, on yourself, what you're thinking about right now, how you're feeling. Are you taking in any noises around you? And slowly starting to concentrate on you, on your breath, and on your practice right now. slowly blink open the eyes and today we're actually going to start in a standard standing pose so we're just going to come to the top of your mat we're going to start in Tadasana so just going to root down through the four corners of the feet we're going to lift your toes up spread your toes place them back down start with your little toe place them back down so that they're nice and spread slight micro bend in the knee so you're not locking out the knee lengthen through the spine Roll your shoulders back. Find a steady gazing point ahead of you. So we've got a nice grounding down through the feet. It's kind of like a string that's pulling us up through the head, lengthening us out. And then inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold forward with the knees bent. Inhale, lengthen, straighten the spine. Exhale, fold forward. Right foot comes back, lower the knee and lengthen the spine into your low lunge. Left leg comes back, lower the chest between the hands, come through into your cobra. Tuck the toes, come back into your downward facing dog. We'll just start to deepen the breath here. Bend the knees if that feels comfortable. You want a lot of length through the spine. Fingertips of the right hand, right foot comes forward, lower the knee of the left leg, lengthen through the spine. Tuck the toes of the left leg, left leg pushes forward to meet the right at the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward, forward. Bend the knees, inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to chest. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Left leg comes back, drop the left knee. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Right leg comes back to meet the left, lower the chest in between the hands. Come through into your cobra. Tuck the toes, push back into your downward facing dog. And 
lengthen through the spine. Fingertips of left hand, left hand comes forward, left foot comes forward, sorry. Right knee drops and lengthen through the spine. Tuck the toes of the right foot, push it forward to meet the left. Inhale, flat back, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, bend the knee, sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to chest. Just gonna step back with the left leg. We're gonna come into our warrior two. So front heel is lined up with the back arch. And we're gonna bend the front leg, the right leg, so that the knee is over the ankle. Hips are facing towards the long side of the mat. Arms to a T. Looking over your right hand. So from here, we're going to flip the right hand up. We're going to reverse it so the left hand slides on the left leg. The right hand comes up and over on the inhale. Exhale, you're leaning forward. The right elbow comes to right knee. Left arm comes up and over your head. You can look up to your hand if that feels comfortable. Sweep the arms back up into your warrior two. Windmill them down to the floor, either side of that right leg. Right leg comes back into your downward facing dog. Fingertips of left hand. Left foot comes forward. Back foot flips, so you're going to come up into your warrior two on the other side. So left heel is lined up with the back of the, the arch of the back foot. Flip the left hand over, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, come forward, left elbow to left knee. Windmill the arms back into warrior two. And we'll mill them back to the floor. Come into your plank. Come forward, chaturanga. Come into your down dog or, I'm um, sorry, cobra or up dog. And into your downward facing dog. Bend the knees, look forward. I'm gonna come through into a seated position. So if you wanna walk into a seated position, you can do that. Otherwise you can hop forward and come onto your bum. We're going to come into our boat pose, so take whichever option feels comfortable for you. So we're going to lift our legs, we can hold the back of the thighs, lengthen through the spine. You can stay here, bring the arms out, or you can straighten the legs. Whatever feels comfortable for you. Just make sure you, your chest is nice and open and you're lengthening through the spine. Cross the legs over, just push yourself up a little bit and come straight back into the boat pose. Knees are together here. And cross the legs, lift yourself up slightly and just lengthen the legs out in front of you now. We're going to place the hands behind, fingertips are facing towards the bum. We're going to come into our upward plank. So on your next inhale, raise the hips, point the toes, and if it feels comfortable, drop your head behind. Focusing on your breathing, pushing your, lip, your hips up. On the exhale, slowly lower and back down. We're going to come to lie on our backs now. I'm going to come into bridge. So feet flat to the floor, just slightly away from the bum. On the inhale, lift the hips up. If you need to roll the shoulders under, do so. And 
again, make sure you're breathing. And your next exhale, lower back down to the floor. So you can stick with that one, or we're going to come up into our wheel pose. So fingertips by the shoulders, fingertips are facing towards the shoulders. Sorry, hands are by the ears. Your next inhale, lift the hips, then come onto the head, and then lift up into your wheel pose. And lower back down to the head, and lower back down. And we'll hug the knees in, roll from side to side. I'm just going to hug the knees and roll back and forth until we come up into a seated position. We're going to come into our forward fold. Inhale the arms up, exhale, folding forward. So a lot of these poses we've already done. These are great poses for opening up the whole chakra. So now we're kind of going back through the poses that we've done in previous ones just to make sure they're all open. We get to that crown chakra. And just coming back up, we're going to take the feet together, knees apart, and come into our butterfly pose. So you kind of, you've got your hands over your feet and it's as if you're opening your feet up like a book. Knees are coming down towards the floor. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold forward. Again, try to keep as much length in your spine as possible. coming back up. We're going to come into cow face pose. I'm just going to face you so you can see. So we're going to bring the right leg under, left leg over. So you're kind of stacking your knees. You're going to make sure that your feet are either side of your body and both of your hips, both your bum cheeks are on the floor. So just make sure that you're seated correctly. If not, you can have one foot out. As long as both bum cheeks are touching the floor. We bring the arms up, we're going to take the right arm up and over, the left arm comes behind and if you can you can clasp your hands or you can grab um, a belt or just hold on to your shirt. So lengthen through the spine, nice deep breaths. Releasing the arms. If you want, you can stay seated and just cross the legs uh, the other way, or you can kind of use your fingertips, push yourself up, leave your feet where they are, and kind of turn around so you can see in the back of your mat and turn back around the other way. And that way, you are have switched the cross of your legs um, in a bit more of a funky way. So again, just make sure both your bum cheeks are on the floor, feet are at either side of you. Arms up, left arm over this time, and grabbing, binding your hands if you can. If not, grab your t-shirt or grab a strap. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, feel your legs relaxing into the pose. Try and keep your head up. Try not to push yourself too much. Remember, this is your practice. It's about you and your body. As long as you're feeling a stretch, that's what you're here for. You're not here to injure yourself or to push yourself too far. It's all about loving yourself. So if you're trying to push yourself to be something you're not, you're not working your crown chakra. Accept yourself. Releasing the arms. 
releasing the legs and we're just going to come to lie on our backs, knees to 90 degree angle, arms to a cactus. We're going to drop the knees to the left but look over our right. We're just going to relax every single muscle in our body here. And bring the knees up and drop them over to the other side. Just gotta move over because that's not gonna hit the wall. And looking over to the left. Again, relaxing the whole body. And then bring the knees back up to the center. And we're just gonna come into our final resting pose into Shavasana. So just take whatever little movements you need to here. Feet come long, feet flop open, palms to the ceiling. And relax. I'm gonna do another quick body scan. Relaxing the toes. Relaxing the feet, making sure we've come to our natural breath, relaxing the calves, relax the knees, relax the thighs, relax the hips, relax the stomach. Relax the chest, relax the shoulders, relax the arms, relax the hands and the fingers, softening the jaw, softening the eyes. And soften in the forehead. And without forcing your breath, I just want you to imagine that on every inhale, you can feel it coming from your toes all the way to your crown. And your exhale, your crown all the way back down to your toes. Like energy passing through your body, going up and down. Every exhale, all your muscles relax a little bit more. Wiggling your toes and your fingers. Stretch your arms overhead, lengthen through your toes. Bringing your feet up. Rolling over onto one side. And pushing yourself up into a seated position. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands to heart, namaste. Thank you for joining me through my chakra series. If you'd like to see more videos, please hit the subscribe and like button. If you'd like to take part in any of my online classes, they are longer than these ones, they're about an hour long, then please click on the link below to my website, leayoga.co.uk and there'll be a subscription button to my Facebook group. Thank you.